so what is the art of winning friends and influencing the people in the reading room called as so persuasion to say there will be no state entrance there will be only need pg even that won't be there you don't read and ask them to leave the reading room is called persuasion that's good very good kartik vijaya everyone is proposing persuasion which is uh, correct i think this is the cheapest answer in question in the entire world should a membranous colitis and class radium difficile so which is the best prognosis another very standard shot glottic cancer because with glottic cancer you get hoarseness if you get hoarseness you don't want to go to doctor but your fiance will take you to the doctor or wife will or husband will take to the doctor supraglottis subglottis remain undiagnosed for a longer period of time because they don't affect the vocal cords and the speech 1% sulfuric acid acid fastness i know where is going to be the fight on this question nocardia nobody even rarely thought it as actinomyces huh that's good that's good so let me check whatever online classmates are saying so between uh, actino everyone say nocardia right so it's very easy question kartik everyone raj is saying five b's for the nocardia brazilianses or any nocardia species so instead of 3% hcl we'll be using 1% sulfuric acid is what need to be remembered what constitutes blood testis barrier subtly cells which is a very very standard question just like astrocytes are important in the blood brain barrier is what you have to ultimately remember which is not an adverse effect of rosemite hypercalcemia rather what is the what, what is the effect that uh, frusumide will be having hypercalciuria and it will bring down the calcium levels thiazides have opposite effect huh have the opposite effect that's good so very good the students in guntur are also very active jasmeet kaur from punjab uh, and rohit everyone says hypercalcemia is the correct answer which is right so gout hyperglycemia hypokalemia there are the side effects yeah this is the challenging question this is the real tomato soup about comet k jain cell tumor we all studied we were all anticipating a question on bone tumor without that there is no paper suddenly tumor cells kahan se aa gaya what is your answer doctor one confident answer guntur proposes mononuclear stromal cells kartik proposes osteoclastic jain cells and rohit proposes stromal cells i know fight is there only between two options so the job of a teacher is to give the correct answer right so let me fulfill my job by saying stromal cells the jain cell tumor stromal cells they are called gst sc constitute the meta neoplastic cells they are the osteoclastic in origin and uh, uh, or sorry blastic in origin and they basically show alkaline phosphatase positivity in case of the jain cell tumor is what need to be basically remembered now germ cell theory our biology teacher told us while going to science quiz louis pasteur to be remembered that's good copper sulfate poisoning this is a little difficult question so what is your answer you like to say hemolysis hemolysis any other answer everybody want to say only hemolysis yes let me check our online classmates kartik proposes hemolysis vijay proposes hemolysis dr chan says hyaluronic gap metabolic acidosis tulsi also supports hyaluronic gap acidosis you are only struggling between a and b but if i say d do you like to quit me what do you say in fact it leads to hemolysis intravascular hemolysis it also leads to rhabdomyolysis also i don't know what was there in examiner's mind 
both hemolysis but uh, uh, and rhabdomyolysis both of them are caused by it intravascular hemolysis methemoglobinemia acute kidney injury and also rhabdomyolysis one of the effects of the copper sulfate intoxication okay ovary we expected lymph node who wanted to know sensory nerve supply of the ovary yeah we want to know because all the pelvic inflammatory disease referred pain all the entire gynecologist uh, opd work lies with the sensory supply who, what is your answer doctor yes d10 to d12 you want to propose d10 to d12 dr saraf uh, your good name faisal faisal proposes then anjim proposes c guntur says d somo vijaya says c venkat from elur says d so the job of the teacher is to give the correct answers it is l1 to l2 the nerve and blood supply if you take they come from l1 and l2 and left ovarian vein drains into left renal right ovarian drains into ivc left and right ovarian arteries originate from abdominal aorta and the lymph nodes are basically drainage into the lumbar aortic nodes is what you have to basically remember so that's the reason tomorrow's exam straight this question can come not the dustbin question of one nutrition cycle is how many days right i almost spent half an hour searching every possible journal on the web where is the answer then i thought ah oh, let me give a break and then have a cup of coffee better questions are there to discuss so benign lesion of the what is your answer hemangioma very standard question which really does not require a lot of discussion celiac plexus block this is an interesting question what is your answer very good typically in pancreatic malignancy when the pain is intractable you will be doing the celiac plexus what is the effect of celiac plexus block on the git who will give me the correct answer celiac plexus block will lead to diarrhea and typically it will be leading to hypotension due to the vasodilatation due to the loss of the sympathetic tone of the vessels is what need to be remembered ha huh, this is once more an interesting question child weight for height is more than 80% height for age is less than 90% yes normal stunted is one answer we are getting from doctor your good name aziz dr aziz proposes stunted let me check anjim proposes a kartik proposes b anjim proposes normal amrita proposes normal somu proposes normal you are also saying normal right only you said stunted eh? okay my job of revealing the answer comes now i propose stunted why look at the water loose classification but before we go to that stunted is based on what height for age underweight is weight for age and wasted is weight for height so if you look at the water loose classification weight for height more than 90 is normal height for age more than 95 is normal now in this case how much is the weight for height more than 80% right so more than 80% means uh, uh, definitely it is uh, more than 80 right 80 to 90 means it should be mild mild okay then you have less than 90% height for age so less than 90 means uh, it should be severe stunting so stunting is there mild wasting is there did examiner thought that mild wasting as no wasting or real wasting i am not sure by this definition it is a severe shunting mild wasting 
in which case wasted and stunted should be the correct answer or if examiner did ignore that mild wasting then b becomes the answer so that's the story so if you take any state entrance this kind of 50 questions will decide the life and death life and not death once more filling application for next year that's the only difference so now doc uterus to corpus ratio at birth is how much who will give the correct answer 1 is 2 two said who two of you right and 1 is to 1 is an answer i am listening from lot of people 1 is to 1 let me check dr tulasi says 1 is to 2 rohit says 1 is to 2 vaizak says 1 is to 2 jasmeet kaur says 1 is to 1 so my job of revealing the correct answer is 1 is to 1 typically at birth and until puberty the relative length of the body of the uterus and the cervix are approximately equal and after puberty under the influence of the estrogen the ratio will convert between 2 is to 1 and 3 is to 1 is what you are going to ultimately remember ha huh, this is an interesting question who will give me the correct answer polioma virus you are all pretty confident eh? because all other are very easy viruses they did not really complicate the options question was good but answers were pretty right so that's right even our online students agree with the answer c there is not much of controversy on polioma it's called polioma nephropathy is the voice clear online students just check that eh? huh? voice is clear no all right enlarged tubular epithelial cells with nuclear inclusion called polioma virus nephropathy is what need to be remembered in the birds outbreak is called as anor eh? anornithic we had been studying right from our zoology days then uh, what is the narrowest part of the fallopian tube another silly question it is the eh? interstitial or isthmus hmm question number 32 Guntur and Vijayanagaram they propose B sorry Karthik proposes A Guntur says B Achyut says B Raj is proposing A Karthik proposes Isthmus Sure my answer was is Isthmus um the isthmus immediately lateral to the uterus as the name itself suggest in latin translation of isthmus is narrow is the narrowest part this question can come back in the state entrance don't believe my answer or uh, the answer of uh, whoever said b who are my supporters amrita proposes jasmeet proposes vijaya proposes b along with uh, dr bharadwaj so don't believe me uh, but uh, this question will once more come in state entrance 